So manual, it should be something that make us uh, do things better, easier, and in the correct way. But yesterday, I spent almost the whole day trying to install this FakeTech OSD onto the KISS V2 flight controller because I was relying on its manual and I couldn't make it work according to its manual. I was totally misunderstood to the point that I tried to make a video in order to explain everyone else that hey, there's a flaw in the manual of Fake Tech OSD. Do not follow its manual. So let's see how can a manual make me totally misunderstood the wiring diagram. So first, let's see the video I've made because I think I found a flaw in the manual. But basically, that is a flaw. But uh, in the reverse logic of thinking, uh, let's let's watch the video I have made first. So I'm going to connect the uh, FakeTech OSD onto the Kiss FC V2, and I'm going to connect it to this port here, the this pin here. And if you are going to connect the FakeTech OSD to this pin like me, you need to swap these two wires, the TX and RXY, on the OSD. No, 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 that was wrong. That was wrong. Let's see why I think so. Let's see why I'm so confident that that you I need to swap the wire and this is correct. Let's see why. You just say that you can connect uh, the six pin cable can be connect to any FATEC or KISS flight controller serial port. But then it doesn't say whether you need to swap any wires or not, so be careful. And uh, and another thing about its manual is yes, that yes, uh, it doesn't set state that uh, whether the RS or TX here indication uh, means the layout for the OSD or the layout for the flight controller. But since it is the manual of the OSD, these indications should be for the, the OSD. Uh, the OSD board. Right, right, it is the OSD manual. Let's see the real thing again. It's the OSD manual. It's fake tech OSD board manual. And there's a diagram showing the wiring layout of the six pin connector. And it states that the RX Sky Blue line is on the far right side of the connector and then the TX line the green line is on the next to it the the second from the right and so i made the i made the marks according to the manual i made the mark but then i need to find out whether this is correct because this diagram is going to be like a rs connect to rs and ts connect to ts which is not the the normal Thing, the normal way we connect things in order to communicate them together because this diagram from Mr. Philip Sidor here, Philip Sidor from Mr. Philip Sidor here, it's clearly stated that for connecting OSD to the KISS FCB2, the TX pin should be connected to the RX pin of the um, flight controller and the RX pin should be connected to the TX on the flight controller. This is the basic logic in order to make two equipment communicating to each other. So um, then 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 I, I need to make sure whether is there any difference in order to connect the fake tech OSD board so I find more information and then I found this photo the uh, wiring here from someone who make it and then there's a fake tech logo on it and that is even the fake tech OSD picture description on it so I think yeah this is going to be good this is going to be reliable but it is completely confusing because you see here if I rotate <coughs> the OSD around in order to be like in this photo then 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 the RS and TX wires are going to be on the left side of the connector, not the right side like in this picture. So what is going on here? What is this picture? And then uh, I don't know what to trust anymore, but then I think the manual should be trustworthy. So I'm still thinking that the RS wire is on the far right of the connector and then TX wire, it should be right. But then it was wrong, it was wrong because when 
Once I swap the Y, once I swap the Y, the FedTech ESC configurator cannot detect the OSD board. And I cannot update the firmware of the, the OSD board. And then when I turn on the goggles, then the only thing I see is a small window stating that waiting for flight controller without any other OSD shows up. So it was, it was wrong. I was wrong. Do not swap the wire. You do not need to swap the wire in order to make uh, it uh, reasonable according to this layout. I called my friend who used to uh, use the fake take OSD board. And he said that, hey, I do not support any wire, I just plug it into my kids V2 flight controller. So, oh, really? We do not need to swap the wire? Okay, so I, will try, I will try. So I tried it. I tried do not swapping the wire. And then everything was, the, S, the fake take ESC configurator can't find the OSD board and I can't update the firmware and the OSD shows up on the goggles and everything was fine. But then if everything works fine and we do not need to swap the wire, then this diagram is confusing and maybe wrong. Because if we do not need to swap the wire, then the RX and TS indications here are for the flight controller side, not for the OSD side. Oh my god. Mano, mano, mano. So, just want to make this video up so you do not make the same mistake as me and spend your half day or the whole day for nothing. See you next video. Bye-bye.